Well, the pandemic hit the airline industry pretty hard. We know that. But demand for private jets, for those who can afford it, has been soaring. And one company benefiting from that demand is Jetit, a private jet company that offers clients shared ownership in the planes. They have seen their revenue soar triple digits during the pandemic. And joining us now is founder of Jetit, Glenn Gonzalez. Glenn, it's good to see you here. I know that you guys made a big announcement recently bringing on some electric uh, planes into the fleet. Want to talk about that in a moment. But first, uh, now that commercial air travel has opened up more, what has demand been like for private jets? And is it still where it was at the peak of the pandemic? Uh, happy holidays, Alexis. Uh, it is still up for us. And we're super excited about the trajectory ahead. Uh, from the beginning, Jetit and Jet Club, we've been very focused on creating a solution that's in line with how people travel, uh, the habits behind that travel, and when they're traveling. And, and that being said, it's just the natural evolution of transportation that people are looking for more autonomous and efficient travel. Although the airlines are coming back, we are still incredibly busy. We are at all-time highs across our entire industry. It's not just Jetit. It's not just Jet Club in Europe. Um, and it, it's not just Jet Canada in, in Canada, of course. Um, it's, it's across the board and we're excited for our industry and it's up to us to continue to prove our value to the marketplace. You know, Glenn, when we talk about electric vehicles, at least, we hear a lot of uh, drivers talk about that range anxiety. Uh, what are you guys doing to really combat that anxiety, perhaps in pilots, but also in some of the folks that are going to be getting on your planes? I wouldn't want to be in a car that loses a uh, battery, <laughs> and I definitely don't want to be in a plane that loses any power either. Yeah, great, great question, Kristen. Um, I think the the entire industry is dependent upon uh, pilots as well as an aircraft that's certified. Uh, we chose the eFlyer 800 and Bi Aerospace because of their ability to certify airplanes. George Bai, uh, their founder and CEO, uh, on, on a number of occasions, he certified multiple aircraft. That being said, with the eFlyer 800, um, there's all kinds of different levels of travel. There are those people who fly across the country. There are those people who fly state to state. In our particular case, our focus is to create a local version of our current service regionally focused, but now more uh, a local service from New York to Vermont or New York to the Hamptons uh, or Nantucket. Um, we recognize that that again is that how people are traveling. And if we can do so at the same speed, or in this particular case, the E-Flyer 800 is actually faster than the King Airs, um, and we can do so uh, that one fifth the cost, uh, as we just talked about the cost of fuel. But more importantly, if we can protect our environment with no carbon emissions, um, it, it's just a tremendous advantage for everyone across the board. Um, our focus at Jetta and Jet Club is to make a positive contribution to our society. And this, in this particular case, we can do so for travel, but we can also do so for our environment. They're definitely beautiful planes, that's for sure, those new EV planes that you're bringing on. Now, of course, you still have your fuel uh, jets as well. And I'm curious what the rise in the price of jet fuel, which is usually the largest expense for, for an airline, what has that been doing to your business, if anything? Because I have to think that these are wealthier folks who are um, who are booking these jets and uh, perhaps a little rise in the amount of the, the, the cost of fuel would not deter them. Yeah, it, it's, it's very unique. In our case, uh, our owners are flying on our Honda jets, uh, which are extremely efficient. Part of why we chose the Honda jet is it is the most efficient aircraft um, built to date. Um, and the E-Flyer 800 will support that with the local travel. Uh, that being said, our owners are paying the same rate regardless of what happens to the cost of fuel. They're paying $1,600 an hour when they are a share owner with us. Um, as the price goes up in the marketplace, um, we have another se segment of our business in which we support a broader segment of the market through chartering our aircraft when they're not in use by our owners. Um, and that helps us offset that cost increase as related to fuel. Uh, it's very innovative. We're the first in the marketplace to uh, conduct our business in this manner. And in large part, that's why we've been profitable and successful to date. $1,600 an hour seems uh, pretty pricey. Talk to us about that uh, hybrid fractional ownership that you guys have. Tell us a little bit more about that model and, and does that help keep costs low for some of your clients? 
Absolutely. It is the lowest uh, value in the marketplace. Um, so if you're flying from New York to Chicago and you're flying with your family first class, um, you're, you're spending six to seven hundred dollars per ticket anyway. Now, in this particular case, it's your airplane uh, for sixteen hundred dollars an hour. So the hour and 40 minute flight is less than three thousand dollars. So in a large part, you're traveling at the same cost on a private jet without TSA, without the security, uh, without the waiting lines uh, at the airport. Uh, you show up to the airport, you hop on, you're with uh, our team supporting you. Our professional pilots are also great people um, that you can have a relationship with. And you show up, you fly away, you fly to the airport closest to you, and you go about your day, you go about your business. This being July 4th, great opportunity to get out and celebrate and uh, the new freedom that we have as people across the country are becoming more vaccinated, as our country is opening up, as Europe is opening up for our colleagues with Jet Club. So the $1,600 an hour, um, it, it may seem relatively expensive, but in, in the terms of private aviation, to have that much value, uh, it, it's unmatched in every way. All right. Glenn Gonzalez, founder of Jetit. Thanks so much for being with us and you enjoy your holiday.